Another development, Australia has imposed more sanctions against Russia, targeting several of its elite citizens and lawmakers and said it was unacceptable that China was easing trade restrictions with Moscow at a time when it invaded Ukraine. Australian Prime Minister Scott Morrison says Australia is also working with the United States to align with their sanctions overnight on key Belarusian individuals and entities who helped Russia and NATO to provide non-lethal military equipment and medical supplies for Ukraine. Morrison voiced concerns over the lack of strong response from China and criticized Beijing about reports it had eased trade curbs with Moscow by allowing imports of wheat from Russia. We continue to be extremely concerned at the terrible violence that we have seen inflicted on the people of Ukraine by Russia, unwarranted, unprovoked. Today, Australia will be beginning imposing further sanctions on oligarchs whose economic weight is of strategic significance to Moscow and over 300 members of the Russian Duma, their parliament, who voted to authorise the use of Russian troops in Ukraine to illegally invade Ukraine. Uh, we are also working with the United States to align uh, with their further sanctions overnight on key Belarusian individuals and entities complicit in the aggression. So we are extending those sanctions to Belarus. At a time when the world was seeking to put additional sanctions on Russia, they have eased restrictions on trade of Russian wheat into China. So at a time when Australia, together with the United Kingdom, together with the United States and Europe and Japan, are acting to cut off Russia, the Chinese government is following through on easing trade restrictions with Russia. And that is simply unacceptable. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.